Yo, what's good everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you um, how to, well, basically what to do after Claudio's one plus two string. Um, now this is all dependent on if you have Starburst and if you don't have Starburst because you do two different things. Um, so first off, let's look at the frames of the difference. Um, as you can see, I have it on standing guard as well. So you'll always see that everything I do after is pretty much guaranteed. Um, so without Starburst, you are at, uh, minus five uh, because of the frames it takes to um, to get starburst and if and um if you already have starburst like i do now you're actually zero um so obviously there's a five five, fr a five frame difference right so if you have starburst um what you if you don't have starburst sorry what you want to do is sidestep right duck um every time you do this um because if they do any of the wake up kicks uh, you're going to get a guaranteed hop kick or while something too whichever you want to go for um, and you're at minus five, so technically it's not your go. Um, but maybe uh, something like a back three um, is is a good option, I guess. But if you're gonna have a read on something like that, you might as well size that right duck because this is what happens. Oh, sorry for the lag. Um, but. Uh, something weird, if you don't sidestep right duck, you will eat the low. So if you just sidestep right, you just get hit by the low. But if you just sidestep right duck, the low, the low actually never touches you. So you can sidestep right hop kick. So this, if you do not have starburst and you whiff punish with 1 plus 2, you always want to sidestep right duck. And if they do any of the get up kicks, you've got yourself a free launch. If not, they're going to stand up, it resets the neutral, it's anybody's go. Now, um, see how I have it on standing guard? Um, let me just get Starburst, right? So, they cannot, um, I'll just, they cannot stand up after this. They cannot straight stand up after this, like that. Um, because if you do forward 1 plus 2, see it's on standing guard, um, they can't block it. So if I just spam forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, if they stand up, they cannot block this. At all. So if you've got Starburst, you can just spam this. And obviously you can delay it as well, because they can... They can side roll, which uh, which will avoid this. And obviously, if you delay it, oh god, I didn't delay it. Long. I delayed it too long. And they press there; they can actually get hit by that. Um, but it's really hard to recreate that. But they can get hit by that. Um, but one thing um, you can all if they if you notice your opponents doing this is just side roll and they never want to get up. You always get a, I think you always get a guaranteed down free no matter which way they roll. So that's roll left, and if they roll right. Yeah, so you always get a guaranteed down free if, they, if they're going to roll either way. But remember, if you have Starburst and they want to stand up, or like, it, it also, because it's neutral, um, it also, just let me show you, beats. I think it, it beats every uh, mid attack. Uh, every uh, wake up kick, sorry. So it definitely beats the mid. And it definitely beats the low. So this will be any sort of wake up if you have Starburst. And if you don't have Starburst... We'll just go over that again without Starburst. Uh, you want to sidestep right duck. Oh, I tried to wall something too. I probably should. I think hop kicks are easier. Oh, that. I didn't mean to do that. And then again, with the low attack. And there you go. So these are the things you want to realise. So you obviously want to notice if you've got Starburst or not. Obviously, if you don't have Starburst and you do this string, you want to size it right duck. If you do have Starburst, probably go for the forward one plus two. Unless you notice they're just going to roll, then take the three down three. Um, obviously, they can roll and I think they can roll and block a low, but let's have a look. Um, I don't know the best way to do this. Maybe that'll work. Oh, no, no, I think, no. Okay, maybe it's guaranteed. Maybe it's guaranteed no matter what then. Maybe they can't block this unless they wake up backwards and block low. Oh, they can't block this. So down three is guaranteed. Um, I'll just uh, double check by getting it to do it to me. Right, let's check this. Alright, see, so it can be blocked. It can be blocked. 
But then, it, uh, but then, like, it, it depends on what they want to punish with, really. With Claudio, you want a hot kick. But some characters can't punish it, but... Obviously, if they're just going to wake up anyway, you would go for the forward one plus two. But if they're just going to side roll, that's on you noticing that you would do the down three. Because obviously, it would be side roll either way. So, yeah, that's what you do uh, with Claudio's one plus two string. I hope uh, you learned something new. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.